So though you can't see it, we've just done beautiful smoky eyes. What I want to show you is how to make a really light looking lip. Now there is no color on Verena's lips right now, but we want to make her lips look very light. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your concealer and you want to brush your concealer lightly over the lips. You're trying to neutralize. Now you have to be careful because if you get too much concealer, it's going to build up on the lip and then it's going to show like fine cracks and what have you. So I, always, I kind of suggest taking your finger and going over it and your finger is warm. The, her lips are warm and between the two of them, you create some heat and that will melt that um, concealer down. But basically I'm neutralizing her lip color. So see how her lips start to lighten up. They become more flesh tone. Don't do this to a fault, but do this to the point where you actually lighten the lips before you put on the lip gloss. Now, clear lip gloss is fine if you just want a real natural look, but we're going to try to make a statement. So we're going to use a lip gloss that's um, it's a cool, let me get it up there, it's a cool neutral. What does that mean? It's, it, it's kind of beigey white, but it doesn't look, um, doesn't have a lot of gold in it. So I'm going to take this color, I'm going to brush it over her lip. So it creates a real light looking lip that doesn't go um, warm at all. And that's very important because the eyes on this look are super cool. So the lips are very appropriate. They work with the coloring. And I'm brushing this all over her lip. Now this lip gloss actually has a fair amount of pigment as you can see. So it actually uh, covers her lips quite nicely. I am kind of digging this. So I'm gonna do a little bit more because I like it so much. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Now, I like lip liner. And even though you're doing gloss, if to make your lips look even more special, let me show you how to use lip liner with lip gloss. I like to do my liner after the gloss. Otherwise, if I put the lip liner on, then I start putting lip, uh, lip gloss on, the lip gloss is gonna melt my lip liner. So here's what I do. I always twist the pencil in a tissue. I'm twisting it back and forth to warm it up. I keep the tissue close at hand and I start to frame her lip back and forth. And then I wipe off the excess as I work around her mouth. And by wiping off the excess, the gloss doesn't stick to the pencil and actually kind of mess up the look that I'm doing. So I work very gingerly around her whole lip line, wiping off the excess gloss, just like this, creating a real nice frame. Especially if we were doing photography, her lips would really pop now if we were to photograph them. So you can come back around now with your brush and soften that lip liner a little bit. But by doing the liner after gloss, you create just that perfect little edge around the mouth. You don't want to ring around the mouth, of course not, but you do want your lips to look enhanced in their fullest. And this is the best technique I know for when you apply gloss, how to enhance your lips after you apply the gloss just like this. So that's the perfect glossy lip, that light lip look for a smoky eye. Now, if you want, I know there's still more. I'm going to take a clear gloss. So let's say you really want your lips to be sexy. They're just not sexy enough. I'm going to take a clear gloss and over the top of this, I'm going to add a layer of yummy clear goo. Now that is awesome. So now you get that gorgeous, sexy, clear look, but you're not, notice how I'm gingerly patting this on so I'm not diluting the effect of the color underneath. Now this is the kind of look you want to photograph or you want to look good in, but trust me, it's not going to stand up to kissing. So just look good while you can. When you start kissing, forgetting about it because then your lips worked. If you're watching this at MakeupGourmet.com, I've listed my current favorite products to achieve this look. Click on one and try it. If you're not at MakeupGourmet.com, go there now to see my favorite product picks for this look, as well as everything else we have to offer. How to apply, what to buy. MakeupGourmet.com